which website builder is right for you. So you've decided you want your own website and now you're realising just how many different tools there are available to help you get started. So it can be a bit overwhelming at first and these tools are called Content Management Systems or CMS. Now each of these allows you to create, publish and manage digital content but how do you decide which one is right for you? <clears throat> so if you want a free website that can be launched quickly you might want to take a look at something like Wix um, or WordPress.com so this is Wix um, and these let you start with a template they're easy to customize and self-hosted and you can get a fairly decent website quickly up and running um, it's a good place to start if you've never had one and you're literally at the very bottom end of the sort of budget scale if I just click back here you can see these are the Wix packages um, so you're going to be paying at least three dollars a month and that really just sort of covers your host and storage space, space with Wix in itself and you can see as you want to add more features you can pay more for those as time goes on and this is wordpress.com now you might have heard of wordpress because it does power quite a lot of internet websites now uh, there's so much involved in, in wordpress websites that uh, they're a great place to start and one of the benefits I must say is that if you start on wordpress.com and later decide that you've grown out of the sort of cheap end of the scale um, you can pay to maneuver up like the other website works but also if you decide to go to wordpress.com which will uh, wordpress.org which we'll cover in a moment then you're already in the right place you're already on that platform so another option is if you're willing to pay a little bit more looking maybe for something a little more artistic or visual um, so on a quick launch to get it live Squarespace might be the answer it's got beautiful templates, it's self-hosted and it's easy to customise. Plus they offer great 24-hour support as well. Oftentimes you'll see photograph photographers or lifestyle bloggers sort of using Squarespace for that reason. And their pricing is slightly a bit more starting point here, $10 a month. But again, a lot of times you could just pay that for hosting alone. So the fact you get all these features as well, um, it's a great starting point. Again, if you're just looking to quickly pop in a, 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 like a portfolio online or something like that, they've got loads of template options available. Let's say you really want to create a design that stands out, so something like Webflow may be your answer. Um, it's a sort of new kid on the block compared to some of the platforms, but um, it has been going for some years. And imagine sort of creating something in Photoshop that's pretty much exactly what you're doing, but on the website itself. And behind the scenes it's creating all the code ready to put it live on, on online for you so it, they have they now offer self-hosting um, and you can obviously tweak and refine that as you go um, it, it is slightly more geared towards sort of designers and agency types and that's where their kind of plans come in from uh, for those who were like web designers who didn't know how to code it was a great place for them to make a start um, but it can get a little bit overwhelming with all the tools um, and configuration options as well. Now, if you're a bit more of an advanced user or maybe you want a more long-term solution, then you could build and customise something over time then, or maybe even migrate from one of these to kind of increase your um, sort of space really and more that you can, what you can do with it. If you want basically customization from the ground up, then WordPress is the way to go and this is wordpress.org um, now this means that this software is downloaded and then uploaded onto your hosting and you would usually hire a web developer or designer to help you with that um, or even build the website for you on your behalf you get loads of integrations with the plugins and the theme options from free to paid to again building it from scratch or designing it from scratch and you can integrate things like um, your mail service providers and analytics and much more. The only downside of WordPress is that you do need to pay obviously for that and that could be a, um, a sliding scale of how much you want to spend and what you want to get out of it. Um, 
but this is usually used for a lot of in-house agencies you will use this if you go with them um, a lot of large powerful websites are run on WordPress also and finally if you're thinking about selling products um, can cannot recommend Shopify more enough um, you can do e-commerce on all the other platforms but Shopify is built with just pure e-commerce e online from the ground up um, so yeah it's the easiest option and it's op optimized for end to end for you to start selling um, now if I just flick back here their basic package starts at $29 that includes hosting it also includes the fees for um, merchant selling so that's already set up for you you don't have to faff on with adding things like PayPal unless you want to of course and again they have free themes they have paid themes you can pay a developer to do something really extravagant um, top brands are running on Shopify um, and it's very scalable so if you started adding more products more um, sort of SKUs etc you can go up the scale as well so you can always build a new website no matter what your budget is um, and you can always save yourself that headache if you start with if you start with the end in mind so what do you foresee your website being in the end um, that might help you choose a tool from the get-go